fire in the Skatastroem tunnel, 15th of July 2015. On the morning of Wednesday, the 15th of July 2015, a heavy goods vehicle on the way from Morloy drove into the Skatastroem tunnel in Bremongje municipality. The vehicle was loaded with petrol to be delivered in Flora. The vehicle consisted of a tank truck and a tank trailer and was loaded with 19,000 litres of petrol on the tank truck and 16,500 litres of petrol on the tank trailer. The Skatastroem tunnel is a subsea tunnel with a rise of 10% and has a length of 1,902 metres. Around 450 metres after the tank truck started to drive uphill from the bottom of the tunnel, the tank trailer broke loose from the tank truck when the drawbar collapsed as a result of a far advanced corrosion. The tank trailer hit the tunnel wall with its right front corner. This made a hole in the front tank chamber. Petrol began to leak out. At this time, there were 17 road users in five vehicles inside the tunnel. Because of the tunnel's large fall of 10%, the petrol reached the bottom of the tunnel in approximately three minutes. Some of the petrol was drained away by the drainage system, but most of it flowed down on the surface along the roadside. Two passenger cars observed the leakage and turned in the tunnel. A camper van that arrived at the site where the tank trailer was standing ignited the petrol and the fire quickly spread the camper van succeeded in reversing away from the fire. While the camper van ignited the petrol, a car with two people on board broke down further down in the tunnel. They left the car and began to walk in the flowing petrol down and away from the tank trailer. Down at the bottom of the tunnel, the camper van caught up with the road users, picked them up and then evacuated. The fire spread quickly down the tunnel and two minutes after the ignition, there was fire along the road, all the way from the tank trailer to the bottom of the tunnel. The petrol on the road surface burned out after approximately seven minutes, while the fire in the tank trailer lasted approximately 40 minutes before all of the remaining petrol in the tanks had burned up. After the road users had evacuated the tunnel, there was also a fire in the tunnel's catch basin for drainage water. The heat damaged the tunnel's pumping station and its associated equipment. The fire generated heavy smoke and very high temperatures. About 900 meters of the tunnel was destroyed. All road users who were in the tunnel managed to evacuate. No road users suffered serious physical injuries due to the fire. Conclusions from the Accident Investigation Board, Norway The tank trailer broke loose from the tank truck because the trailer drawbar was overloaded. The material strength of the drawbar rods was significantly reduced due to an advanced state of internal corrosion. The petrol vapour was probably ignited by hot surfaces or sparks from the electrical systems in the camper van's engine compartment. The 10% gradient of the tunnel in combination with the drainage system's inability to drain the liquid on the road surface meant that the petrol leakage quickly spread over a wide area, which in turn generated the strong smoke development, heat and intensity. The road users had two minutes to evacuate the tunnel after the petrol ignited in order not to be trapped in smoke and heat. The road users responded rapidly and correctly when the incident occurred but a minor change in the circumstances could have had dramatic consequences. The rust damage that was detected in an ADR inspection of the tank trailer in 2011 was repaired in contravention of the manufacturer's instructions by welding sheet steel on top of the rust holes. Rather than increasing the strength of the structure, the repairs contributed to increasing the risk of corrosion fatigue. The corrosion was allowed to develop until the trailer drawbar finally broke in 2015. There were system failures and lack of know-how on the part of the vehicle repair shop that repaired the tank trailer, the inspection bodies that carried out the periodic roadworthiness tests, as well as NPRA inspectors who conducted the ADR inspections during the period 2011 to 2015.
The risk analyses for the Skaterstrom tunnel from 2013 and from 2016 are both inadequate in terms of assessing scenarios and measures. The damage potential associated with the carriage of dangerous goods and fires has not been adequately assessed and attended to in relation to the tunnel's special characteristics. There is no restriction on the transport of dangerous goods through the tunnel. The regulations relating to overland transport of dangerous goods provide for the possibility of introducing restrictions relating to the transport of dangerous goods through road tunnels. Sonia Fuadana County Authority's follow-up of safety in the Skaterstrom Tunnel has not been satisfactory. Neither has the capacity of the tunnel's surface water system been increased after the fire, nor have any measures been implemented to reduce the consequences of any similar future incidents. After the incident in the Skaterstrom Tunnel, the NPRA, Directorate of Public Roads, has sent out information guidelines on following up on repairs and damage to trailer drawbars to repair shops, inspection bodies, organizations, users, and the NPRA's driver and vehicle licensing offices. The repair shop has subsequently changed its procedures so that instead of repairing damage to trailer drawbars, they now replace them with new parts. Trailer drawbars are also the subject of special focus during periodic roadworthiness tests. The Accident Investigation Board Norway submits a total of four safety recommendations in connection with the investigation. The full report is available at www.aibn.no.